In this video, we'll add some email columns to a site collection, add a content type, add the content type to specified libraries, and create a view. When we're finished, we will have a view just like this one where the email attributes will be captured automatically when saving to the document library. To get started, make sure you have completed step one in our best practice guide, creating the admin site. Also, please make sure you have the OnePlace Solutions admin client on your machine. If you don't, you can download it here via the downloads page. So the first thing we need to do is launch the admin client and select add email columns. Click on select locations and select the libraries where you would like to add the email content type to. If you need to add additional site collections, please expand Teams or add SharePoint sites via the Add a Connection link here. Now I can select multiple libraries in a site or libraries across various locations. Once I have all my locations ready, I can select Next. I can specify whether I would like content type management to be enabled on these locations. Note if I select no, the provisioning process will simply add the email columns to the site and create the content type, but will skip adding the content type to the libraries. So I'm going to say yes, as I want the libraries to be completely set up. I'd also like to create the default email content type and create a view in the process. I can see a clear list of what is about to occur as I select deploy. That's it, these libraries now have the email columns and views all set up. You can come back at any time and add additional libraries or sites as required. Now, when users are saving to these libraries, the email attributes will seamlessly be captured in the save process.